How's it going, Blue Demons? Still don't have a good nickname for you guys yet, so if you can think of one, let me know in the comments. We are on to our second game after a disappointing loss on the road. It's uh, Tennessee State 41-40. to Things are a little bit weird, and I'm still learning how to play this game. Uh, I tried to record this episode earlier, but I didn't know how recruiting worked, and I used up every single recruiting point that we have. We get them all at the start of the season, and we don't get any more. I used them all up, basically just being uh, telling players, yeah, we're kind of interested, and then <laughs> nothing beyond that. So uh, I had to come to my backup, but my backup was already simmed a week in at this Northern Iowa game. So things are a little bit scuffed, but I, you know, that's what happens when you don't have any experience coaching basketball. So what we're going to do is create a target list of about 10 players or so, and we'll start to slowly spend our points on them. And here we are with our list, 10 guys on the board. We've spent a little over 20 points. They're really, really good players. Uh, we've, we're gonna do a little bit of early scouting and send them their, our letter of interest. I'm not ready to send anybody a package yet because also that might just be illegal. And then we did our internet research. Again, we had like, what, 128 points to use for the entire season. So we have to be really smart about how we do this. We have some ridiculously good players on our board. The number three power forward, the number five, the number 20 and 27. Uh, so, uh, we have two scholarships available to us now. Previously, it was one, and we cut a player, and it wasn't saying that we had an extra scholarship, so I think that by cutting that player, it did open up a scholarship position for us. So, if we can get a power forward and a shooting guard, that would be fantastic. Obviously, Brian Nicholson or Elihu Amos would be great, and I would not mind Leon Postel or who's the other shooting guard? Manu Edmonds would also be pretty good. Uh, there's a couple of guys that we've added just because they're super high on the board. But even if we go and take a look at like Brian Nicholson, we are his third top school. We're behind Marquette, which is kind of a shame. Uh, an in-conference opponent, kind of a rival there. But we didn't, we spent the first week doing absolutely nothing. So we're going to show some interest in guys this week. And in a week from now, we'll reevaluate our positions, especially once we kind of know how guys are feeling towards us. As far as our games go, uh, we're going to be simming a decent amount of games. Obviously, I don't think we'll sim any of the tournament games, but this first game of the this episode against Northern Iowa, we will sim. We're going to do the game cast so we can kind of see what's going on, but we're not going to jump in. So let's go ahead and tip things off. We win the opening tip. That's great. And we can speed it up. Not going to speed it up crazy amounts. Uh, 10 minutes into the first half, we are down 23 to 16. They're hitting everything inside. We're taking a few threes, which is good to see, but you just need a little bit more. Braxton easily leading the team with 12 points. And let's go to the end of the first half. And it looked like we made a little bit of a comeback, but then kind of fell off 45 to 38. At oh, 45 to 40, we take that at halftime. So into the second half we go. Go ahead and speed this up till the 10 minute mark. We just can't quite seem to fight back. 62 to 55 there. Go ahead and sim through basically to the end of the game. Five points down. Can they make it? No, down seven. Just doesn't seem like uh, anything good is going to happen here. One minute left in the game. Uh, Braxton, 24 points, but 36 minutes is pretty tough. Eight assists for Clawson. That's kind of what we would expect with the zero points. We know he's a good passer, and that's about it. Uh, turnover by Braxton. They're going to score, and that's going to be all she wrote. 81 to 72. We fall to Northern Iowa, and we can just continue. We'll sim towards the week, see if we get any results uh, recruiting-wise, and then we'll go ahead and jump into our game against uh, the Raging Cajuns. So we're 0-2 and desperately needing a win. Louisiana Lafayette, much, much better team than Tennessee State was. Tennessee State had like a D or a D minus overall. These guys are up to a B, so hopefully I can play a little bit better, but things are going to be looking a little bit rough. Let's just go ahead and get into this one, our first home game. So hopefully it goes well for us. 
But again, it's certainly not going to be easy. The averages are going to be a little bit rough, I think, no matter what, just because of the way that it works. We're playing 10-minute halves, but then the sim games will be 20-minute halves. So hopefully those sim games kind of help bring us up towards the average, but uh, we're going to be pretty low on almost everything. The only things that really would be comparable are going to be our per shooting percentages. Three-point-wise, 27 as a team is atrocious. 48 from the field is better than the Ragin' Cajuns, but just a 33% from the free throw line. That is brutal. One thing that is going to be brought down a tiny bit is uh, we'll do some foul changes. We got called for a ton of fouls earlier, so we're going to bring them down just a little bit. Uh, I already know that this is something that should be coming down soon just in general, but that way we don't send the other team to the line quite as much, and we can go ahead and tip this one off and hope for the best. All right, and here we are in Puerto Rico. This is apparently the round one of the uh, tip-off tournament. Thought there was a home game, but I guess it makes more sense for it to be uh, the first game of this tournament against Louisiana Lafayette and the Ragin' Cajuns. We're 0-2 looking for a win. We'll see what we can do. As long as we can get the uh, the tip here, we'll be looking okay. Never mind, we lost the game. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what we can do. Braxton is going to need to be big this game. We'll expect both teams probably to go to the paint. They go to the paint immediately. Vilma, decent defense. Just enough to bother the shot, and it's off. Let's pass it forward to Kloss in it. And let's get it inside. I want to work the body. The problem is I can't have West out there, so we need to get some mo movement going. And let's actually give it to Ray Braxton. No, he misses. Vilma's going to kick. Kick it out to Braxton. Shoots the three from the corner. He gets fouled. Immediately, we're going to the line to shoot three. That was a bad corner shot. Pretty well contested. But just, I don't know, that's a weak foul, but we'll take it. So Ray Braxton steps to the line. Not going to be the easiest free throws of our life here, but if we can take a 3-0 lead, I would love to see that. Even if we can make two of them, that's going to be good for me. And yeah, we're going to have just a chance to make two. I'm not great at free throws in this game. Uh, of course, I'm just not great at free throws in general. Uh, or, or this game in general. So <laughs> let's just see what we can do. We make two of the three. Gives us a decent lead on our opening possession and again we'll expect them just to continue to try to push it down low so that's what we'll try to defend against nice pass webster decent defense again enough to bother the shot and it'll give us a chance to maybe push the floor a little bit here we're gonna pass this into jason he gets the ball and makes the shot not easy but he gets it done you love to see it i think really uh it's gonna be ray braxton threes or uh, West and Vilma inside. Maybe some Steve Bolton. Let's give it to Clawson here. Maybe he could push something. I kind of like the way that where they were sitting, but look at this. West maybe with a chance. Pass it out. If that was not Webster, I would have shot it. And he loses the ball. I was looking for the pass, but instead they're going the other way in transition. It's an easy layup. Unable to get back to contest the shot. Well, we're going to have Vilma post up on this one, but the question is... What are they going to do? They're able to sag down quite a bit. Vilma going to the body, draws the foul. This is kind of a, I don't know, opposite of the first game that we played against Tennessee State. We were fouling them all over the place. Now we're the ones getting fouled. So Vilma, we know it's going to be almost impossible to make a free throw with him. Look at how tidy that blue bar is. Oh, well, that was, I didn't even give it a good effort there. The second shot. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh boy, that is impressive. Not really a good look when in the intro video I said it would be impressive if we hit one on the entire season. And in our second game, he's already got one, but that's what it is. How about Ray Braxton in the corner? They jump the pass. We get the ball back. We can give it back to Ray Braxton, and the three is off the back of the iron. I think that was a decent shot attempt. Again, Ray, we're going to rely on him for a lot of shooting, especially pretty much anything outside. And here, we're just going to try to cut off any opportunity for them to take a look inside. This guy going up for the shot. That should be bothered. They get the offensive rebound and the foul. Thankfully, no and one. Ray Braxton gets called for his first of the game. So, Maceo Gracer 
Something like that. The computer science major to the line. First shot is good. And they'll have a chance to make it a one-point deficit if he can make this one. Hopefully not. No, they're good. Perfect from the line to start. They're pushing us a little bit on defense, but Ray can kind of just break through that push down, get the pass into the paint, and give it to West and let him go to work. And he's got the little turnaround jumper in. This is a good way to start. We're hitting our shots right now. You love to see it. Ray Braxton getting burned there. Thought Jason was going to come over for the help defense, but it's not there. So, unfortunately, or so th sorry, that was Vilma. Unfortunately, they're able to score pretty quickly. Don't really see anything. Let's try to draw them away. I want to give this to Jason West. Let him continue to work in the post. He's got a mismatch is what it seems like, and the little hook is up and in. Six points on three shots. He's 100% from the field right now that's exactly what we love to see again they're going into the lane that's going to be a foul again not an and one but Vilma messed up on defense the last time around and this time commits the foul all right how about the philosophy major Max Tuttle can he hit his free throws he should be expected to make at least one of them it's point card after all seven nine they're doing a decent job keeping up especially their free throw shooting I mean that's now four straight points from the line but we don't concern ourselves with that. We just got to keep pushing. Push it up to Clawson. Look at that wide open. Is Webster and Omri takes it to the hoop. Great layup. Oh, I didn't notice. I didn't hear the whistle. It's an and one attempt. Low odds of me converting. But at least we can maybe get them in foul trouble. So they try to press up and have some full court defense. We find the outlet to Omri. Oh, I missed that. No. Just barely put it in. The three-point play is completed. It's a four-point lead. Nearing it midway through this first half. And this uh, point guard really looking to drive on us right now. Oh, Ray got a hand on the pass. Uh, tried to jump that one. They're going to shoot the long two over the defender. Nice shot from Tuttle. He's got six points on two shots. Let's look for some screens here. See if we can get some movement. No, I'm not seeing anything. What if Ray... Man goes over the top of the screen. Ray cuts it back. Nice step into the lane. Friendly bounce. Rolls into the hoop. And Ray does a nice job driving and scoring some points. 14-10. They're going to pass it into the lane. Expecting another shot inside. It's a good little pump fake. Able to get... Uh, I think that's Vilma off his feet there. And then take it under for the score. And we're just going to go right back to them. Give it to Jason West. That was a weird pass. Give it back to Ray Braxton. Wide open for the three. And he's, again, just can't hit it today. So close on all of these shots. I don't think that was a bad attempt either. But it doesn't work out. That one deflected. And Vilma's going to come up with the ball. The fast break opportunity. And he makes it. Good layup. A little bit of pressure. Two defenders into the area. But not enough. And we re-extend that lead back up to 14. Passing it around it. Kind of expecting this point card to continue to drive. Or maybe for them to pass it down inside there. Guys keep posting up. Great defense from Clawson. But the ball. No. They call a foul. That looked like a clean block to me. That's a he, that's terrible call from the refs. How about Derek Gant? Can he hit his free throws? They continue to stay perfect from the charity stripe. You don't like to see that. We need them to start missing those if we're going to be fouling. As much as we are, and the second one is off. That's exactly what we needed. And, uh oh we're, okay. We were stuck for a second there. This game can get a little bit glitchy sometimes. It is an old game. Let's give it to Vilma. He's posted up down low. Back and down on his man. Taking the shot, and it's good. Man, we are killing it in the paint right now. Kind of a quick offense coming out here. Webster does a good job not to foul there, but they do end up making it. Tuttle's having himself a game. Uh, I don't like to see that. Let's let Braxton get involved. Great screen, Braxton. Tried to go for a little Euro step, but got hit with the body there. Unable to finish through the contact. They're going to continue to drive is what my... I mean, it's, it's either the point guard's driving or they're passing it down low. That was a great pass. Was able to front that one and get it over Jason West. And with four minutes here in the first half... Well, we're just going to kind of do the same thing. Pass it to Vilma. I'm looking for the pass to West. If they can give it to us, maybe out to Clawson. Kick it over to Braxton. That's a deep corner shot. And finally, he cans the three. Two of five from the field. So he's got the layup and the one three-pointer. 
I think he's 25% on the day. You don't like to see that, but finally getting one to go through the hoop is big. That's a deflection from Weston. Now Braxton can run the break here. This is probably not the greatest shot, but Omri Webster's going to take the quarter three, and that one's good. Back-to-back -back threes. Omri, six points, two and two from the field, and we're going to open up the lead here as the half is starting to wind down. Absolutely beautiful. They go inside. That's another shot missed. Vilma gets the board, push it up to Clausen, who's going to look for the drive. He's going to get to the body and get the foul. We can get some starters off the bench, get some subs in, and maybe a chance here for Tim Clausen to extend the lead. Uh, I got to say, it is really hard for me to focus uh, on, on hitting these free throws while talking at the same time. That's about 90% of the reason that these are such bad attempts. 0 for 2 from the line on that trip, and... Well, they're just going to get it continue to move. We're going to definitely back off. If they want to take the long threes, or really any threes, we'll allow them. Trying to push in. Oh, my gosh. That's embarrassing. Terrible defense there. The big man with some nice dribble moves and the spin to get in there for the easy layup. We're going to give this one to Steve Bolton and let him do a little bit of work. That's the worst charge I have ever seen in my life. The offensive foul is called, and they're going to get the ball back. Well, what can we do? 24 to 19. We had the lead nice and big, but then some fouls not going our way and some terrible free throw shooting. And all of a sudden, it's just five points. That's a tough shot. No way he makes it. Good job, Bolton, getting the board. Braxton can start to push it up. Want to go to Vilma here. And that was not the pass that I wanted. Braxton dribbled behind the back first, and it really set him off. They're trying to drive on Kloss, and he's going to have the layup. Couldn't stay in front of him, and then just didn't want to risk the foul. Two minutes left here in the half. Kind of tempted just to have Braxton huck one up. They went under the screen. It's a wide-open shot. He hits it. That's his last two in, and he's starting to maybe heat up from beyond the arc. You'll love to see it. 27-21. Man, they almost just got called for a backcourt violation. And we'll see. It's, I mean, a battle between Braxton and Tuttle right now. Tuttle goes to the body of Vilma. That's not going to be it. Vilma can push it to Clausen, who, man, if he could shoot, would have been beautiful there. Just going to look to give it to Bolton. Back down on this man, and he gets called for another offensive foul there? That's brutal. Or wait, maybe they called that a, a defensive foul, a block. That's fine. We can give it to Lawrence. Pass it into Harvey, a name you guys haven't seen before. And he's going to draw the foul. Omri Webster, the only starter on the floor here inside a minute and, well, almost a minute and a half. Harvey, his first free throw attempt of the season is going to be good. Extends our lead to seven. A chance to make it eight here. If we could go into the locker rooms with a double-digit lead... That would be incredible. Not going to extend it on that one. So just get back, play some defense, see what Lawrence can do. Can't give up anything too easy. What's got? Uh, we got to make them work for their shots. Oh, that's not that's not going to be working for it. Caldwell, d decent job making the man miss. I'm going to give Caldwell a chance to shoot a three here. They're not going to guard him. Steps into it. Off the dribble. Bolton almost able to get the offensive rebound. I wanted to set that one or shoot that one set. Uh, so not exactly how we wanted that to go. I don't know why I'm jumping there. We just allowed Grace to get in for the easy bucket. And now inside a minute left, what can we do? Lawrence kind of dribbling around. I like the idea of going to the post, but we're going to give it to Caldwell again. And let him drive unless they go under the screen. I don't know about that. Little jump step. Bad shot. 40 seconds. Now left in this first half. They're going to drive all too easy to get into the lane, but then the shot's bothered. Shot clock is off, and we're going to hold it here for the final shot. In fact, I'm going to take a timeout, and we'll bring the starters in for this final possession. The good news is, unlike uh, our last game, we're not really in any sort of foul trouble. So let's just get guys moving around 20 seconds. Really, I'm looking for a three-point shot or a drive with Braxton, but I'm not against passing it into paint. So we'll see. Maybe the pick and roll. I'm just going to have him start setting screens all over the place. And that one, oh, not at all the pass that I wanted. Vilma kind of stuck passing it around. That's not who I want to give it to. Omri Webster to beat the buzzer. And he does it. The three at the end of the half to extend the lead to eight. 
We're going to head into the locker rooms looking real good. That was a broken play just from me being terrible at this game. But Omri saves it, splashes it home. And at the end of the half, DePaul with the lead, 31-23 over Louisiana Lafayette. We're going to start the second half with the ball. Hopefully as strong as we ended the first half. Tempted to give the ball to Omri, but instead, let's just kind of let Ray get to work. Maybe put in some dribble moves. Spin on this guy, please. There we go. Look at that drive. Oh my gosh. Backed him down, put him to sleep, and then finished the job. That was a fantastic first possession. Kind of all Braxton. Maybe a little bit more passing would have been nice a good screen but it's not going to be enough and man Tuttle starting to do a little bit too much could we see some hero ball here let's give it to Clawson they they know that they don't have to front him too early but they do have to worry about the passing and Vilma the strong finish a chance for an and one all right Vilma 50% from the line today not gonna make it 66 but West the offensive rebound that's one way to finish the possession four points there 9-0 run to start well I guess to end the half and to start this one they get the offensive board and well there it goes first person no they're gonna call that an offensive foul thought it was an and one but we're gonna get the ball back my goodness can we just continue to step on their throat that was oh almost a terrible shot attempt pass out of that one Omri Webster gives it to Vilma passes it back Webster pushing it into the paint that was a terrible layup. Not really wanted. He gets his own miss. And then I don't know if he just got stuffed by the rim or what, but that was <laughs> kind of a terrible second shot attempt on the second effort. Uh, let's see if they'll shoot the three. Uh, they have not shot one yet this game. We're 57% from beyond the arc. I don't know if I already said that or not. And honestly, I'm a little bit worried about Vilma here. He's getting fronted again. Don't want to see that. Clawson, good job keeping him in front. And there it is, into the post. Take the shot. That's when it's going to be good. Sometimes you just know they're going to make those. Well, let's go ahead and pass ours down low. Tough pass to West. Good catch. Can't quite get the pump fake. Goes for the second shot. Rattles around and comes off the rim. Oh, man. You know, this kind of feels like the first game against Tennessee State where we came out shooting absolute fire to start the second half and then eventually cooled off and ended up losing. Hopefully, we can keep the lead this time. Trying to avoid some sort of defensive three as that one stripped away, but he's going to pick it back up. No blocks there. Thankfully, no fouls either, but it's up and in. Ten-point lead now. Reduced pretty much everything we've gained. We'll go back to the body in that one. Oh, deflected away. Thought it was going to be uh, Raging Cajun Ball, but we get it back. Let's give it back to West. Let him work the body again. Passing it around. And that one just goes out of bounds. All right. From underneath the basket. Let's give it to Braxton. Let's look for a three-point shot here. Clawson given the screen. And no, let's go into the lane. The foul, no and one this time. We've been hitting a lot of those, but not on this drive. Another trip to the line means, well, more chances for me to miss field goals or, or free throws. Ray leading the team 24 points already in this game. Not going to make it 25 with that attempt. And I'm going to shut up on this one and see if we can make it. Oh, God, it was even worse. <laughs> All right, I'm just legitimately bad at this game. It's as simple as that. Anything to keep our lead, though, is what we're hoping for, as the clock is just going to keep ticking away. That's one of the things with a 10-minute half in a college basketball game, is that time goes by pretty quick. Looks like they really want to go to the post. They have a big mismatch there. We got to be careful. West, get on your man. See if we can get Braxton to switch. No. There we go. We should be looking a little bit better. As, man, they've burned down the clock. Is he frozen? That's a deep three. If he hits this, oh my gosh. That was a Chad play, if I've ever seen one. Give it to Clawson. Pass it into West. He's got the double team. But there it is out on the corner. Omri Webster, dang it. Can't pass through a defender. So it's another turnover as they get the steal. And let's see what they are going to do going inside. Just like that, man. Our lead has really evaporated. Let's get a little bit of an ISO for Ray on this one. See if we can get him into the lane. He's been pretty good. Trying to hit him with the dribble moves. The spin. Spin the other way. Nothing. Pass it to West, and that should be good. That's a beautiful layup. 
able to just again lull the defense to sleep and then make them pay we needed that one lead back up to seven they're gonna pass it into the paint once again good defense from omri webster forces the miss and again we can just kind of slow things up omri deserves a little shot here not necessarily sure if we're gonna give him the three-point attempt but a drive into the lane through the contact and again back to the line we go now again i did lower foul frequency as somehow we made that free throw so it should be a little bit less than the last episode but uh you know still decently high some starters off the floor. We've got Steve Bolton in, but Vilma still getting fronted. They're, they really like going to the post. Hopefully we can get this one. All I want to do really is just move on to the next round of the tournament. And that one, an offensive foul? Maybe an illegal screen there because I think it's our ball. One thing about this game is it doesn't give you a whole lot to work on. You hear the whistle and that's it. How about Ray Braxton bringing it up the field? They don't want me to shoot this three. Although I really badly want to. Instead, we'll go with a little pick and... Oh, Bolton able to pick up the ball after Ray dropped it. A little jab step for Ray into the lane. And that one's going to be off the back iron and out. Couldn't quite steal it back. Had the chance. Now we just need to stop this transition. And that'll be just fine. Getting there into the post. Vilma's going to have to defend. Man, these guys are good down low. Call for Clausen to get open. And we'll see. Can we get Ray Braxton open? I'm looking for some sort of shot. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. How about uh, Bolton down low? No. Tough pass. You expect Lawson to get that in there a little bit quicker, but he just waited too long. And there's some good defense forcing him to give it up out of bounds. You love to see that. Give that one to Bolton. Have him drive in. I'm trying to suck in this defender so that we can give it to Braxton for the corner three. And it's off. Bolton can't get the offensive board either. Thought he was in a good position, but maybe the animations weren't too friendly to him that time. Good deflection, and this one's going to be pushed up. Actually, they did a really good job at stopping the transition, but the, can they stop Ray Braxton? They don't need to. Man, I thought he was heating up. And a wide open three there, but unable to get it to fall. And they're going to have another chance to try and eliminate this deficit a little bit more. Eventually, they might have to start taking some threes. Another steal! Can we push it? Film of the alley-oop? No, not at all where I wanted that one to go. But that's fine. Braxton has the ball. We're going to give it to Vilma. And he can pass it down low. No. Uh-oh, he's stuck. We're going to have to call a timeout. The game is glitched. Nothing I can do there. That's a real shame. Well, at least that'll allow us to make some subs. But that's, uh, that's a bummer. Because he had Bolton cutting on the back door. Wide open. How about this to Vilma? To West? Just trying to move it around the paint. Oh, this is going to be the shot. Held it a little bit too long. That was just on me. I kind of expected him to do uh, a different animation there, but he went straight up with the shot. So held it too long. Bad release. And again, UL Lafayette, a chance to cut into this lead. Tuttle, Gant, Daniels, Wiggins, and Swenson on the floor. What a group of names there. Tuttle is kind of cooled off. A little bit less aggressive in this second half. Two minutes left. Great pass into the paint, though. 16 points for them down low. That's not going to cut it for us. 50% from the field. A couple more stops and we can be looking really good. Let's go for the drive here. Get all around. Into the body. Another one off. Tipped. And they get the board. They have possession as well. Inside two minutes. A five-point game. And we're going to foul them. No and one, but they will step to the line, and they've been pretty good so far. Well, with a minute and 51, as they make the first free throw, the last game ended 41-40 with us losing. This could be an awfully similar score line this time around, as it's 41-38. We just have to not let them score again, although I'm sure they're going to start fouling us pretty soon. And with, honestly, with the way that uh, I've been shooting free throws, them fouling us is a genius decision. There's... Braxton inside the paint thought he was going to have something, but man, they closed down on that real quick. Wide open into the lane. Oh, wow. Rattles around and again it goes down. Braxton's going to go for 30 today. This one passed down low. Webster, oh, I'm lucky. Didn't jump early. All right, jumped too early. I don't know. They scored. <laughs> 43 to 40, a three point game. 
trying to again get a screen. The problem is it's Clawson giving the screens. I need someone like Omri Webster here. They go underneath the screen, shoot the three, and it's off. Maybe he's just not great pulling up off the dribble. So we need to try to find a way to get Braxton open. Otherwise, oh, we got lucky they missed that one. They have not been missing that shot often. Clawson brings it up, and we can slow this one down. 50 seconds left in the game. No reason to do anything. We're just going to sit here and dribble the clock out a little bit. All right, 10 seconds left on the clock. I want to get this one to West. I want to have him start to back down because it'll leave Ray Braxton open, but not open enough. And now West is going to have to go to the hoop. That's a tough shot, a bad shot. They're going to take their timeout here. 20 seconds left down three. I mean, I feel like we should be confident, but Ray Braxton just screwed us. If he was standing out in the corner, he was going to have a wide open shot. All right, plenty of timeouts. <gasps> Ball deflected. That was going to be huge. The three is good. Oh, no. <laughs> That's like their first three of the game. 14 seconds left. Unless we go to overtime, this is going to be it. And you know I'm going down to Jason West. He deserves the final shot. I just have to get him open. Pass is good. A couple of seconds left on the clock. He's completely smothered. Ray Braxton at the buzzer. Hits it. And 1.6 on the clock. What a way to win the game. We are moving on to the next round of the tip-off tournament. Oh, my gosh. 0.6 left. This free throw, merely a formality. But hitting it absolutely seals the deal. Just don't foul. They're going to take the timeout. But this one is over. What an exciting way to win. I really did think Jason West was going to be the play there, but they did not want him to get that shot off. So Ray Braxton just coming in so clutch. Ice in the veins. We're moving on to the next round. Did not think that was going to happen after the way the first game went, but we finally get our first win of the season. Man, these guys are throwing a temper tantrum on the sideline. Ray Braxton, 18 points, five assists on the game. That is beautiful. Although I thought at one point it said he had 24 points. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> at the end of the game, Ray is our player of the game. Derek Gant is there. So I would have expected it to be Tuttle. 18 points and five assists for the starting point guard. 42% from the field. 37 from three. That's not great. But three, uh, three pointers in the game is uh, probably a team high for us or a season high for us. So we will definitely take that. West led the team in rebounds. We had Braxton leading the team in assists with Clawson having a few. Clawson with the only block of the game. I don't even know what one that is. And who had the most turnovers? Well, I guess Braxton, you know, that's kind of typical for the point guard to have the most turnovers. So there we go. One and two. We move on to the next round of the tournament. Uh, I don't know who we're going to play yet. Can we advance uh, through the day? To see our matchup, uh, Bucknell Bison. I have no idea where that school is. The college basketball fans in the world, I'm sure do, and are uh, incredibly angry with me. But I'm feeling confident, and it gives us a chance to move on to the semifinal round. I imagine four days on the tournament that this is our quarterfinal matchup. Unfortunately, that is going to have to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I'm enjoying playing some basketball. It's a nice change of pace to not always play college football. And I'm a big basketball fan. So being able to hoop a little bit is a lot of fun. I feel like I'm slowly starting to get the hang of things. So uh, maybe we can get a few more wins. Who knows? Maybe we can make some moves in the Big East and actually be competitive in conference. If you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We're nearing 5,000 subs, so every one of you guys that hits it gets this one step closer to, honestly, a pretty huge milestone for the channel. After you've done that, head down to the description where you can find a long list of stuff, including links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster, links to my Twitter, our community Discord, and the March Madness Legacy mod if you're trying to get it for yourself. All that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. Until we figure something out, you guys are still the blue demons. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.